Tại vì vậy Tại vô ra là to <cười> That's true. That's true you are. <laughs> Eventually, maybe one day from like old age or maybe baby, I don't know. <laughs> But parents and teachers are really concerned about it. The government's cracking down on it like never before. There's concern from health advocates about just how many young people are taking up vaping. I do not want young people to to be starting vaping. Typically vaping in toilets, you know, uh, passion fruit flavored toilets. Um, yeah. Now look We're not trying to be those guys who are having a go at you, being like, you should not vape because vaping is bad. However, we think it's important to talk about. Like, where did vaping even come from? Well, back in the days, people used to think ciggies were all good, healthy as. Turns out, nah, actually they got heaps of cancer in them. So someone was like, well, what do we do about that? I want to cut back. So the bro Honluck over in China invented the e-cigarette to help people cut back on smoking. Then what happened is vapes and pods started to flood the market. You find them everywhere, dairies, supermarkets, under the front seat of your uncle's car. And so what happened was it was invented so that people would stop smoking cigarettes and they would have less nicotine. But now what we've found is that actually some people have used it to get into nicotine in the first place. So there you go, little history lesson. Now we know you're not dumb. We know that breathing fresh air is way better for you than addictive chemicals. Even if it does taste like gummy lemon soda and give you head spins. So we thought a way better question to actually ask is, well, why do people vape? And so we actually asked you guys, we asked you, why do you think people vape? Why do you think people vape? Um, because they think it's fun. Fun? It ruins your lungs. <laughs> the chemicals! It look cool! Oh, yeah. Tastes great! <laughs> It tastes great! <laughs> of course I think they're cool! Yep. You don't answer! I guess people just kind of start out like trying it and then yeah. they just get addicted to the nicotine. Like, to calm your nerves! Yeah. I guess, that's what most people like, like once take you get it addicted, is. you can't stop yeah. and you use it all the time. It's just an addiction, everyone around you does it, so once you start it's just kind of like you can't stop. There must be something that seems good about it. Otherwise, it's kind of irrational and weird if you just know like, yeah, this is going to be real terrible for me. Yeah, I'll do that. Like, it doesn't really make sense. So there must be something that seems attractive, right? Like, it will feel good. So that makes sense. Anything else? Any other reasons why people might try it? Because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know. All right, and so... <laughs> to have a good time. Great answer. Oh, yeah, right here. To, to deal with problems, absolutely. Uh, peer pressure. Peer pressure, yep, down here. Oh, to get it, just to get out of your own head, yeah. I started thinking, or us at Attitude, we started thinking, if we always hear the same answers, then I wonder why that is. And we realized that at the end of the day, everyone's just trying to meet certain needs in their life, right? Like the answers you gave me. They're just needs that we're trying to meet. Look, I reckon the main reason that people vape is to meet a need in their life. So. Let's talk about two of the main reasons that we had students share with us. I reckon our first biggest need is trying to fit in. Like, if everyone vapes and it's just a normal thing to do, you feel like you want to do it as well, to fit in. Because I think most of us have done something stupid just to fit in, eh? Like, there's literally no point and trying so hard to fit in with other people if you feel crap about yourself because there's often a good chance that they're not even respecting you for it either because they know they can just kind of use you for a laugh or for a story to get a reaction. And I want you to have better friendships and meet this need in a better way than that. Because having a good group of friends makes life way better. Hey. And good friends just let you be you. Like, can I be straight out with you? If someone just vapes to fit in with their friends, it can be kind of cringe, eh? Like, I've just always respected people who make their own decisions for themselves, and you just kind of let your friends make theirs. Our next need is wanting to feel better. Sixty-five percent of rangatahi in New Zealand said that they vape because they want to relax. Because when you were like a little kid, you didn't need to relax, right? It wasn't like you were at kindergarten at lunchtime leaning over the water fountain being like, oh man, finger painting's been real hard today. I just need some space. But as we get older, those needs get harder to meet.
There can be these things that happen to us and it can be really hard. Like it actually can be really difficult to try and navigate. Like what do I do with this? How do I actually feel better because this sucks? And I understand why people think substances are going to help. And I understand because it's like, it seems like a pretty attractive option, right? Like, oh, well, I won't even think about the problems because I just distract myself from the problems. What I've learned is that distracting yourself from the pain never actually helps fix it. And so the only thing you can really do or the best thing you can do to actually fix whatever is going on is actually to talk about it. Now, I know that probably sounds like real cheesy and cliche, but honestly, the more you talk about the tough stuff, the easier it gets. Now, look, I know this probably sounds obvious, but help actually helps. And so who is that person that you talk to when you're feeling stressed? My parents. My father. Probably my dad. Uh, my two youth group leaders, Sophie and Seb, they just make me feel special. My mum and my nana. <laughs> Probably like my cousin. My mum. My mum. My friend Ryder. My Ishan. What about you? My parents. Your parents? Uh, probably my father. Yeah, probably my dad as well. Probably my mum. Them. 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 <laughs> uh, one of my closest mates. My cousin. Oh, this egghead right here. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> Yeah, well, from Attitude, I want to let you know, you ain't lonely, okay? There's youth blind, you've got school counsellors. Hit us up at Attitude, we got you, okay? We got you. So, what choices are you going to make? What risks are you going to take? You've got to weigh up, is the good stuff worth the bad stuff? Is it worth it? <laughs> Look, when we want to talk about vaping, we don't want to make up risks. We're not going to tell you, like, if you vape, you're going to go to jail. If, if you vape while you're ram raiding. Yes, yes. Don't vape and ram raid. What we do know is you risk getting addicted. Because nicotine is addictive. And you risk getting in trouble. With like a teacher or your parents if they catch you. Or you even risk like crossing your own values, you know, how you mm. see yourself. Yeah, it's even a risk to your money. It costs a whole ton. And what we're starting to learn is that it can actually be really bad for your teeth and for your lungs too. And there are some other rarer risks, like my mate Matt had his vape pen blow up in his pocket and then he actually had to go to hospital and made the news, so yeah, apparently that's a new risk we now know about. Experts reckon the real risks are some of the stuff we don't know yet. Vaping could be all good for you, but it also could not be. Yeah, it's kind of like at the start you think it's good, but it ain't. Like when I first started watching Stranger Things and I was like, oh, this is this lovely show about childhood friendship. And then you get to the most recent season and you're like, okay, this is like a full psychedelic horror and I have trauma now, so cool. I've been doing this job for five years. The reason why I stay in it, the reason why I keep saying this, because I say this with my chest, I, I completely believe the choices you make today could have more effect on your life than any choice that you made previously. I genuinely believe that. At Attitude, we just want to help you make great decisions. But if we did make your decisions for you, we'd choose the same ones me and Tom have made. Yeah, like I don't, I don't need to vape to meet my needs. Like I don't need to vape to fit in with my friends. I don't need to vape to relax. Now look, if you see me one day on a real frosty morning blowing fat clouds, that doesn't count, okay? It's cold, <laughs> it's biology. So what do we do with all this? Right, it's easy to just watch a video and be like, yeah, yeah, it was interesting, but now our challenge to you is to go out there and actually apply it to your life. The next time someone peer pressures you to try it, you can say no, you know, you're like, no, grandma, don't. I don't want to do it, attitude said no. Or the next time you're feeling stressed out, you actually find someone to talk to. Maybe you just stand up on the bus and you would be like, someone listen to me, I've got problems, whatever it takes. But look, if you actually don't feel like you have anyone to talk to, then you can always remember you can chat to Youthline.